Hello. So we're going to talk about the ARP 2600 now. Uh, similar to the way I did my book list series, this is going to be sort of some quick tutorials and try to break it up. Um, I love this thing. <laughs> the ARP 2600 is kind of like somewhere for me between East and West Coast um, in terms that you can just do so many wild things with it. Um, this was sort of a competitor to the Mini Moog in a way because um, it's a three oscillator design and it makes just absolutely massive bass. Um, so let's get started. First step is this is completely normaled uh, so you don't have to plug in any cables but you can to sort of short circuit some connections. Um, let's just start with how do we get sound out of this? Um, kind of works backwards for me um, I, I work from right to left, um, maybe because I start with, like, sound. Um, so the way you get sound out is we're taking audio from either the filter or the amplifier. I'm going to choose the amplifier in this case. We've got to have control to the amplifier, so I'm going to use the envelope here. That's ADSR. We turn up this. Um, I have to watch my volume a little bit because this thing is incredibly hot output. Um, you can have audio coming into the amplifier from either the um, filter or from the ring, modula ring modulator. Uh, so I'm going to turn up the filter. So we're going to get more of an East Coast type of thing where it's like filter amp, you know, oscillator filter amp. And here's our filter section. Um, different volume controls for different sounds that go into the filter. I promise we're going to circle back around when we talk about the filter and, you know, kind of mess with all of this. Uh, so if we just turn up VCO3, we have some sound. Hopefully, right? Okay, and I've got an arpeggiator running. Okay, some nice stuff about the filter is that um, you can assign the envelope directly to the filter. Right? And we've got three oscillators. And you can see here that they're sort of normal to different wave shapes. So VCO3's normal is a sawtooth. VCO2's normal is a pulse. VCO1 our square. Here's our pulse. And we can control the width of the pulse. Uh, and our sawtooth. Okay. And we've got a spring reverb over here. That sounds gorgeous. Uh, so this is the Korg reissue version. Um, in my opinion, where Behringer sort of missed the boat because nothing sounds as good as this reverb. Okay, so that's basics of how to get sound. Um, we're going to sort of look at the oscillators next.